Sandwiches! 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 Sandwiches make everything so great. They make the world happier. And you know what my favorite sandwich is of all time? A Philly cheesesteak. And I wanna show you how I make a cheesesteak. I know it won't be Pat's or Gino's. I'm gonna say it out loud. I'm a Pat's guy when I go to Philly. But the, the cheesesteak to me, a hot, steamy, kind of minced up ribeye with caramelized onions, with the whiz. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in a nice, easy way. Cause guess what, it is easy. I'm not gonna, there's no tricks, there's no elevation, there's no fucking anything. I'm just gonna try to make it. We're cooking. I know you're gonna rip on me for a lot of stuff, because I know even when I made the Italian beef from Chicago, you make fun of me. Now I'm making the cheesesteak from Philly. A lot of people are gonna be like, get the fuck out of here, Maddie. And you know what? I'm getting the fuck out of here. But I'm gonna make my sandwich first, okay? So, the thing that, the, the thing that you should get is a really nice kind of center cut ribeye. And you should get good buns. These buns aren't even the best fucking buns because in Canada, you can't get good fucking buns anywhere. So this is the best bun. I can get a, a typical piece of shit sub bun. That's it. That's all I can get. So I have just a basic ribeye here. You gotta get it big enough so you can slice it and shave it. So the trick that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shave all this top fat off, okay? And some of the connective tissues around it. I'm gonna get rid of a lot of the fat because there's enough fat inside that's gonna make it nice, which will allow us to get nice strips. But all this stuff is so good. Like, don't throw this out. Like, you can take this, cut this up, and like stew it. We're gonna put this into the freezer for 30 minutes. We're gonna be able to shave it. I'm gonna get all my vegetables ready. You don't have to wrap it. You don't have to do fucking anything. Just put it on a plate, put it in the freezer, 30 minutes, take it out. Let's hear from our sponsors right now. Sponsors? Hello? Oh yeah! Sandwich. Do you always need to add milk and sugar to make your coffee taste just okay? Or does going to a cafe for coffee every single day add up to hundreds of dollars a month? Yeah, it does! So let me tell you about my friends at Cometeer. Cometeer isn't like any other coffee. It's high quality coffee, expertly ground and brewed to flash frozen for flavor and freshness so you can melt your way to hot or iced coffees, lattes, and more in seconds. No equipment needed. Their coffees are sourced from the best roasters and the capsules are 100% recyclable. Cometeer has a special offer for you. Get $20 off your first purchase. Just click the link below. That's 10 free capsules of coffee and free shipping. What? Try it yourself, this is incredible. Click the link in the description, cometeer.com slash Maddie Massive to get 20 bucks off your first purchase for a limited time. Thanks again, Cometeer. Ooh. Wow, that's incredible. Now, back to our cheese steaks. You got peppers, you got onions, you got mushrooms, you got pickled hot cherry bombers. The thing that I wanna do is I want everything to be inside of it and be the same size and texture. I'm gonna be able to kind of garnish it up with all of my fixings. Just take off all the stems of all your mushrooms and you just take the gills from the bottom and you peel, well, some of them, they break a little bit. All of a sudden, you have a perfectly clean mushroom, everybody! Get a little, your little cast iron pan, a little oil. I'm gonna use the stem, so I'm gonna quarter these and then just run my knife across. And this is the kind of size that I want for all of my toppings. With the mushrooms, we're gonna cut each one in half and then just slice it and then dice it up, okay? When was the last time I was in Philly? I don't know, probably like two years ago. Every time I go, as soon as I get off the plane, I go straight to Pat's, and before I get on the plane, I go to Pat's. And I want the first and last thing in my mouth to be Pat. All right, so we're just gonna hit it with some salt, fresh crack Pat. We're just gonna saute this with a little canola oil. And when cooking mushrooms, you wanna kinda cook on high heat. As you keep cooking, the moisture evaporates, and the oil is still left in the pan, and then that's when we're gonna get them nice and crispy. 
Okay, here we go. We got crispy mushrooms. Not every single mushroom is crispy. That's okay. So you can just cut all the little shoulders off. We're just gonna run our knife across. So I got some orange, got some yellow. You know, just slice it up. Just saute the peppers. And these won't take as long for the mushrooms because they're not as dense. Once again, just some fresh cracked pepper, some salt. You don't really have to caramelize the peppers. We're just gonna cook them out a little bit. So that's it. We just have to soften them up a bit. Quick saute, never hurt anybody. Those are gonna keep steaming and cooking. And now we got some white sweet onion and we're just gonna dice this up and put this into our pan. We don't even have to clean it out. We got the peppers in there. We're gonna just throw in the onions. I did do two whole onions because I do want it to cook down a little bit. I'm gonna add just salt to the onions, okay? I just don't wanna add any pepper to it. I got pepper in the mushrooms, pepper on the peppers. I'm gonna put pepper on the beef, but the onions, I'm just gonna leave alone, okay? See all that water, all that moisture is coming out. Then all of a sudden that oil will be able to do its thing and we get rid of the moisture and then it fries up. And all that onion water moisture is just going in the face and the eyes, really fucking me up. It smells like grandpa's pillow, kind of, you know? We all know that smell. Nobody else knows that? That's not a thing? I feel everybody knows what their grandpa's pillow smells like somehow. You know, it's rough. It's been around. Kind of greasy, feet kind of smells like B.O. A lot of drool, a lot of drool in there. A lot of just like old, like, you know, dad dead tooth breath. Oh yeah, we all know. We all know. You don't need a deep caramelization. Just a little bit of that flavor, that darkening of the cast iron pan cooking. So you know like burnt bits, but it's just a little bit of color. Once again, these are gonna just steam out. Go, we got our onions, we got our mushrooms, our peppers, our cheese whiz. We can't be walking around with cold ass whiz. The cold whiz is no good. We need to warm it up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take like just a quarter cup of milk. We're gonna add just enough whiz to loosen it up. Our burner is literally on a medium heat and we're just gonna slowly warm this up. We don't have to bring it to a boil. And then we're gonna have a little warm whiz. We're gonna have a little warm whiz. We're just incorporating the milk with the whiz. That's a nice consistency. Not too thick, not too thin. Why the fuck does everybody love like cheesy, ooey, gooey bullshit? You guys all, like it's just like, if I do this, it's like, get, you're just like, you're, you're, you're monsters. It's like, this is all you care about. This is all you care about is like a drizzle. A fucking drizzle. This is all you want on YouTube is like dri dunk, dunking something into that and fucking dunking. All you want to do is fucking dunk everything. All you want to do is boil stuff. All I want to do is boil stuff? Get the fuck out of town, okay? Boiling is great. Don't fucking talk about boiling. So take this out of the freezer. Get a cleaver for this. Because see this? This is what you want. You want a blade that's sharp and is actually higher. So we're gonna slice this as thin as possible. And it doesn't have to be these perfect strips. It can just be like these chunks and we're just like slicing it up. We're gonna make these like kind of ribeye mounds. I got spatchies, I got spatulas. Spatulas. We're going high heat on this. We're gonna do just a little oil, not a lot here. Okay, and here we go. We're just gonna kind of mix this up. And the idea to kind of just, okay, you kind of do that to make it nice. Now we're gonna add a little bit of salt, some pep. We can add some onion, boom, boom, boom. We're gonna go all in here. This is the full meal deal. We got the mushrooms. We got the peppers. Once again, this is what I'm talking about. It's all one thing now. I'm gonna add a little cheese whiz. Not a lot here, cause I'm gonna add more soon. Then we got our steamed bun. I'm just gonna put it like this. We're gonna leave it alone. Look at this landscape. We have the beef, that beautiful ribeye. Mm, that good beef, baby. We got the onions, the peppers, the mushrooms. Mm, it's so fucking good, actually. Oh, baby. Mm, I'm just being like a little bad kitty cat. Okay, here we go. We gotta move quick here. Put this right here. Oh yeah. 
Okay? And you got Wiz. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. And we got the pickled hot peppers with the juice. What I do is I rip these up and I just tuck them in. This is it. This is a Philly cheesesteak. And usually I just make it with the onions, okay? I usually just make it with the onions and I'm going in right now. Mmm, good pepper. Couple extra little cheesers. Ooh, ooh. The cheese is hot. I don't know why I never got the, I always just wanted the onion, but now I'm like, hey, why, am I, why am I not getting the full basket? Why am I not getting the bouquet? Why am I not getting the bouquet of flowers that Philly offers, the mushrooms, the onions, the peppers? Guess what? This is fire, so fuck all y'all. This isn't the best Philly cheese. The best Philly cheesesteak is in Philly. So I just want you guys to know, that's how I make a Philly cheesesteak. That's how you can make a Philly cheesesteak. Is it the best? No! But is it good enough? Yes. I'm Ryan Madison. I get the hiccups from the chili pepper. Cook yourself.